Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency and Mayor Bloomberg and Governor Patterson, Senator Schumer and Clinton, Senator Obama, Alan Nan Smith. Thank you all for the warm welcome. It's a privilege to be with all of you for the 63rd anniversary dinner of the Alfred E. Smith Memorial Foundation. And this is a very distinguished and influential audience and as good a place as any to make a major announcement. Events are moving fast in my campaign. And yes, it's true that this morning I've dismissed my entire team of senior advisors. All of their positions will now be held by a man named Joe the Plumber. <laughs> But already, my friends, my opponents have been subjecting Joe to their vicious attack machine. His veracity has been questioned by Barack Obama's running mate, Joe the six-term senator. He claims that this honest, hard-working small businessman could not possibly have enough income to face a tax increase under the Obama plan. What they don't know, what they don't know, is that Joe the Plumber recently signed a very lucrative contract with a wealthy couple to handle all the work on all seven of their houses. <laughs> This campaign needed the common touch of a working man. <laughs> After all, it began so long ago with a heralded arrival of a man known to Oprah Winfrey as the one. <laughs> Being a friend and colleague of Barack, I just called him that one. <laughs> he... My friends, he doesn't mind at all. In fact, he even has a pet name for me, George Bush. <laughs> it's been that kind of contest, and I come here tonight to the Al Smith Dinner knowing that I'm the underdog in these final weeks, but if you know where to look, there are signs of hope. There are signs of hope, even in the most unexpected places, even in this room full of proud Manhattan Democrats. I can't, I can't shake that feeling that some people here are pulling for me. <laughs> I'm delighted to see you here tonight, Hillary. <laughs> take one night off from his tireless quest to make the man who defeated his wife the next president. <laughs> the man is a relentless advocate for the Obama campaign, and he has a subtle approach to making the case. When a reporter asked him if Senator Obama was qualified to be president, Bill Clinton pointed out, sure, he's over 35 years of age and a U.S. citizen. <laughs> He was pandering to the strict constructionist crowd. He's also been hammering away at me with epithets like American hero and great man. And with all the cameras running, he warmly embraced me at that global initiative of his. My friends, this is nothing but a brazen attempt to suppress turnout among anti-Clinton conservatives. 
Finally, when Larry King asked President Clinton a couple of weeks ago, what was the delay and why he wasn't out there on the trail for Barack, Bill said his hands were tied until the end of the Jewish high holidays. <laughs> now, you've you got to admire that ecumenical spirit. I just know Bill would like to be out there now, stumping for Barack until the last hour of the last day. Unfortunately, he is constrained by his respect for any voters who might be observing the Zoroastrian New Year. <laughs> you know? Some... Some advocates for Senator Obama are less restrained in their enthusiasm, even in the media. Over, I, he usually is at table 228, for example, it was my old friend and green room pal, Chris Matthews. He used to like me, but he found somebody new. Somebody who opened his eyes, so somebody who gave him a thrill up his leg. <laughs> And we've talked about it. I told him, Maverick, I can do, but Messiah is above my pay grade. <laughs> you know?